Well, victims of May's flooding around the valley are still looking for assistance from the federal government to repair the damage. But as 27 First News senior reporter Jerry Ricciuti tells us, some say their help being provided won't fix the much bigger problem that's behind all this flooding. With Mahoning County now included in a statewide federal disaster declaration, a team of advisors spent the day canvassing storm damaged neighborhoods like this one in Boardman. What we're going to do is we're going to encourage anyone within the county to register with FEMA. Using notebook computers, the workers were able to register people right on the spot or else leave them flyers with information so they can do it themselves online or by phone. Any of those three options will help you get into the system and then we'll take it from there. But at least one of the neighbors here on Holbrook think this is little more than a band-aid. But what about the future? And that's the problem. And all we're getting is pushing the blame and we're working on it. Sprague showed us photos from the flooding in late May where stormwater runoff combined with clogged sanitary sewers to inundate the neighborhood. And he says it happens just about every time there's a heavy storm. I have went at this eight years ago and the stories I heard then are the stories that I'm hearing now. Sprague admits improving the stormwater and sanitary sewers will take time and a lot of money, but he adds until that happens, the flooding won't stop, even if neighbors are able to get help repairing the damage. FEMA's helped, which is great, but at the end of the day, we never fixed the original problem. Which leaves Sprague and his neighbors watching the skies for the next storm and worrying. In Boardman, Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News.